You're right, all. Tim G Five TM. So uh, as per my last video, I've come out uh, this lunchtime just for an hour or so to uh, have a little go on the uh, newly acquired Slidewinder DX coil, which is basically a UK version, if you like, of the Wolf River coil. And I've got it on the car on the triple mag mount, very quick installation with the Chameleon. Uh, it's a two point oh military whip, which is about ten and a half feet long. And uh, yeah, it gets a tune on 40 meters. So I've got a little play now on 40 meters. Whole point of checking out 40 meters today above anything else is just to see um, basically if uh, the, you know, the antenna handles it on 40. I've made a couple of contacts already into Belgium and Germany, uh, somebody else's frequency, and no problems at all. 5.9 reports, that's fine. Um, so there you are, that's the setup, and that's the reason why I'm doing it today, really, because I want to get into the flora and fauna, a bit of parks on the air, and I'd like to be able to know what I can work on 40 as well as the higher bands. Now, the coil itself, the um, the slide winder coil, uh, tunes from 40 up to about 15, because uh, you need to basically go right to the top of the coil at 15, because the antenna itself is basically almost, I think, just about a quarter wave anyway on 15 metres. Okay, so I'm going to go on 40 metres, see if we can make some contacts. Maybe there's a bit of integer floating about, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Let's see if we can get any contacts with this thing. Let's go 5, Tango, Mike. Uh, mobile, GB5, Hotel November, Yankee, Saint you stay safe. Mike 6, Sierra Lima Charlie, good morning, thanks for the call. Uh, your report is 5 and 6, 56 Golf 5, Tango Mike Mobile listening. Golf 0, Papa, Mexico, Japan. Mobile. Mike 7, Delta Hotel Alpha Portable, about 5 and 5, 55 over. Yeah, Echo India 5, Hotel Victor, no problems at all. 5 9 plus here. Yeah, Two Mike Zero, Hotel Echo Oscar, thank you for the call. You're 5 and 7. We're calling 40 and standing by. Two Echo Zero, Echo Papa Bravo. DQ and standing by. Mobile listening. Okay, Papa Delta Station, go again. Yes, Papa Delta 1, Auto Sierra. Good morning, uh, Jim. He was at G5TM Mobile. Mike 7, Foxhot, Lima, Yankee. Mike 7, Foxhot, Lima, Yankee. QRZ 40, Golf 5, Tango, Mike Mobile. 2 Echo 1, Alpha, Juliet, Bravo. 5, Tango, Mike Mobile, calling CQ and standing by. Golf 1, Juliet, Delta, Tango. Uh, this is Golf 5, Tango, Mike Mobile, listening on 40. Germany 5, Tango Mike, mobile. Germany 5, Tango Mike, mobile. Okay, hello, uh, yes, team. Uh, yes, I work here before TV, 15 kilometers north from London. Hello, uh, thanks for the call. Five nine, good signal today. Uh, George 5 station. George 5, uh, uh, George 5, please, go ahead. Uh, good afternoon, uh, George 5, Tango Mike, mobile. antenna in. That's what you call timing. That's years of experience. <laughs> Hopefully, excuse the, the glare behind me here, but uh, got a bit of sun coming through the window. Hopefully, it's not too bad. The antenna worked really well. I had a ball on on 40 meters. SWR, well below 2 to 1 throughout the whole band. Uh, even with a triple mag mount, I dare say with better grounding and bonding, it'll be a lot better. But 
1.7, 1.8 to 1, not a problem as far as I'm concerned. As you can see, I used much more of the coil, obviously on 40 to load the antenna a bit more because the whip is only about 10 and a half feet long, uh, just over three meters. And then as we, as you can see, as we tune it on 20, where the SWR was well below 1.5 to 1 throughout the band, we used less of the coil and far less again on seven, or a bit less again on 17 meters. Again, great SWR. And then 15 meters, yeah, the whip itself is basically, uh, because it's about nearly 11 feet long, it is, is basically a quarter wave on, on 15 metres. So I, I try not to use any of the to any of the coil if I can. Um, so SWR is fine, as you can see, about 1.5, 1 1.6 to 1. I dare say if I put the whip directly into the mag mount, the SWR probably would be even better, but uh, that's not an issue. Um, overall, great fun. A couple of QSOs on 15, as you can see at the end, and also used it on 17 as well. And my aim now is to try it out on the higher bands on 15, 17, and 20, see how it does there. But thumbs up as a, as a mobile option, it really worked well. I wouldn't drive with it on, by the way, with that length of whip and, and, and the coil, there's plenty that can go wrong there, I think, in terms of wind loading. But the stationary static mobile, with moderate wind conditions, it was about 25 miles an hour up there yesterday. Didn't have a problem, it was rock solid on, on the mag, on the mag mount. So absolutely fine, a good start with it and pretty happy with it. And overall, a thumbs up from me. So hope you enjoyed that. If you fancy subscribing, it'd be great to have you on board. And uh, there'll be another video coming up here shortly for you to have a look at as well. Take care of yourself and uh, catch you again on the next one. Bye-bye.